Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube video. And in this video, I want to show you guys how to install SQL Server 2017 Express Edition. Right now, I'm already on the SQL Server software install page, and you can find this link in my video description below. And let's go ahead and start. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open your browser and go to the this uh, website. And from there, you want to click on Download Now. Okay. And then you're going to get a pop-out window asking you to save the uh, the file. So you want to save this file uh, on your computer. So I would have a folder created. So I'm going to save uh, this file to my Download SQL Server Express uh, folder. So it's a relative small file, about five megabytes. And once you finish download, and let's go to the folder that way you just download the software. Let me see if it... And double click to launch the installation process. Okay, under the user account control window, just click on yes. So up here we have three options, basic, custom, download media, and you want to choose basic. Okay, and click on accept to accept the uh, agreement. Okay, and here you want to specify where you want to install the SQL Server. I'm going to just set this to default and click on install. Okay, now we're finished installing. So the next thing we need to do is we need to specify to always uh, to validate you know, our instant name. So I would um, highly recommend that I just leave everything as default. And this is the installation media folder. Okay, so everything looks good on my end. So now we just finished install the SQL Server uh, database with the backend. But we still have one more thing to do. We still need to install SQL Server Management Studio. You need the SQL Server Management Studio to be able to run SQL Query against the database. So now you want to click on Install SSMS. And a new page will pop up. So it's like this is the Download SQL Server Management Studio page. And you want to download the latest one. So in my case, will be the 17.5. And click on that. Okay. And just notice that this is a pretty big file. And so make sure you have enough um, memory or storage on your PC. Then save the file. I'm going to save this to my download SQL Server Express folder and save. Okay, now once we complete the installation, now let's launch the SQL Server Management Studio installation process. So you uh, click the file and double click to, to open. Okay, now we are on the SQL Server Management Studio installation page, so click on install. Now it's loading the package, so it's, this might take a while. Um, let's just wait a little bit. Okay, now our setup is complete, and let's just close the screen. And now, the next thing you want to do is you want to configure your SQL Server Management Studio. So go to your go to the application and look for Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio 17. Okay. 
And once you open the uh, software, and let's just wait a little bit. And it's running some of the uh, configuration for you. And when you first open SQL Server Management Studio, I'm going to assume that this is going to be the window that you're going to get. And for some of you, you might have uh, different SQL Server instance in, in the back end. And from there, if you want to choose a different server name, you can just you know, click on Browse More. But right now, I just install a fresh uh, SQL Server database. So this is the only server I have. And I'll connect. Now here we have finished installing everything, uh, the backend and as well as the SQL Management Studio. And let's just take a look at the, the interface. And over here we have the server, and we have the database. And right now I don't have any table created, or nodes, I don't have any database created. But if you were uh, creating a new brand new database, so let me this night free flash so I just created a brand new database called JJ now if you, if you just hit uh, click on database and plus F5 to refresh now you should see you know I have my database uh, showing out right now and if you need if you have tables created then you will see uh, your tables under the tables session right now I don't have any tables so right now I just only have system tables uh, actually, I don't have any system table as well. So I don't have anything. So I like, you no, know, it's a brand new database. But yeah, uh, this is basically, you know, how you will install SQL Server Express for 2017. And I'll be posting more videos uh, in the future. And please feel free to, you know, come visit my channel and my website, which is in the description below. And thank you guys for watching and talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.